What's going on, smart people? This felt like one of those weeks where I never wasn't working. I was always doing something. And if you're considering going to graduate school for physics, you might wonder, how much free time do you get? Do you get any free time? Well, I want to answer that question today by breaking down, on average, how much time I spend a day getting all my tasks done, whether that be homework, going to class, making a video, all the time that is spent doing something that has to be done. And then we'll see if there's anything left over. When it comes to things that I need to get done, I have class every single day. Some days I have class for one hour, some days I have class for a little over two hours. When you factor in commuting there and back, it probably comes out to about two hours. So, so let's go ahead and say that class takes around two hours a day. So class takes around two hours. And then when I get home, I like to get a jump on my video for the day first while I'm still nice and enthusiastic because if I go to my schoolwork, then I won't be. And when it comes to thinking of what I want to make for the day, putting my thoughts on a piece of paper or LaTeX document, and then recording and editing the video, that whole process generally takes around three to four hours. So video takes around three to four hours. <laughs> no, we did. Oh wow, Andrew, four hours to make what you make? That sounds like you're doing something wrong. But it's how long it takes me sometimes. Um, and then after that, I get a jump on my schoolwork, and that takes a bit longer. That's around four to five hours. So schoolwork, around four to five hours. And that's just because grad school physics problems take me a while. I mean, I don't know if it's the same for everyone else, but it doesn't mean that they're necessarily all that difficult. They're just long and tedious so far. Uh, and then starting next week, I'll also be tutoring. Shameless plug for two hours. That's not going to be after the schoolwork. That'll be right about right now. So let's go ahead and add all of this stuff up. That tells us that work per day is about, so that's two, three, two, five, nine, eleven. So that's 11 to 13 hours a day. Let's go ahead and just say that the average work then is around 12 hours. Also, uh, sometimes I sleep, so let's add six hours for that, six hours a day for sleep, which means that the total time I spend doing stuff that I have to do, whether it's work, class, tutor, sleep, comes to about 18 hours a day. And that sounds like a lot. 18, I have 18 hours worth of stuff to do a day. But is it that much? Well, let's go ahead and differentiate under the integral sign, do a Taylor series. Oops, okay, let's just draw a pie chart. Happy little, happy little pie. And then one thing to notice is 18 hours a day, that's, that's three-fourths of my day. So that means starting from about, yeah, all the way up to, yeah, that's off limits. That much time, about right this much, I'm doing stuff, I'm busy. But that still means all of this area. That's almost six hours a day that I can do whatever the hell I want. So, though it feels like I do nothing but work, I clearly have more time than I think I do. And, and you might say, Andrew, you're not a TA though. You would have to factor in the fact that a lot of grad students have the TA and you're not doing that. And that's true. Grad students typically spend around 20 hours a week TAing. So for weekdays, that's four hours a day. But most grad students don't also make videos and then tutor on top of that. So it really does average out as far as the time it takes to carry out the task goes. So substitute these two sections for being a TA and you come up to roughly the same amount of uh, division, I guess. Not to mention the way I divide up this time makes it so that my weekends are more or less open. I still make a video every single day, so that time is still set aside, but you do get more free time as a physics grad student than you would think. Let me know in the comments section if your experience was different or similar to mine, or just feel free to let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys there.